What up, Free Ever fans? Jonathan and Eric here, and today we have Tommy Allure. Yeah, thanks for And having me. absolutely. So we are going to dive into some ideas that what do you do when you're brand new? How do you get started? Sure. Let's do it. So to get a feel for what we're working with here, why don't you tell us how long you've been spearfishing, maybe what originally got you interested in the sport of spearfishing? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So you know, I've always been attracted to the water. I grew up in Florida, so um, spent a lot of time surfing and at the beach and stuff, and I even scuba dived when I was young. But spearfishing, I actually, two years in May. So still new to the sport, learning every day yeah, from for sure. you guys. There you go. Awesome. So what would you say was like the catalyst that started this whole process two years ago that got you like leaving surfing or scuba diving and wanting to free dive and free dive spearfish specifically? Yeah, um, so I borrowed a gun from a friend of mine. Okay. Just on a whim, me and a buddy went out on our boat not knowing what we were doing. Nice. And I think it was just shooting that first fish, you know, okay. that I was like, was okay, it. I don't want to do anything else <laughs> now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so basically me and my buddy James, we, we kind of knew we wanted to fast track this once we, that first day, we're like, we want to get good at spearfishing and how do we do that? So we went to the Bahamas Okay. and uh, we brought our wives and we had like a nice trip and all of that. And it was clear immediately that we, we just not diving safe. We need to go okay. take a course. And that's really that next step in June of that year, uh, went to Florida free divers, took a course. And that was like kind of what started this whole, um, Process experience or, and everything okay. yeah so so you took the course right yeah. you took level one um and then how did that go like did it was it everything you expected was you like holy cow i'm doing everything no wrong, that was or? definitely an eye-opener not only from the, you know the technical skills that you learn but from a safety standpoint and that's what i was trying to um give bring peace of mind to my wife for one <laughs> but also you know everybody wants to come back at the end of the day and we want to do it you know we want to be safe when we're out there so mm -hmm. the safety things I learned were key and I think that's always been uh, my my mantra moving through this whole these last two years has always been safe dive safe be a humble diver yeah. and so forth but ability wise you know I went from barely being able to like touch sand in 30 feet and then a weekend you know dove to 66 feet granted it wasn't like perfect and I didn't sure, feel sure. incredible but I I you know hit that kettlebell and came back up nice. and that was like that was an awesome experience so Very that cool. that definitely helped moving forward um, you know with spear fishing yeah. and, and taking those skills over so but in terms of you know going from being brand new to it I think the course is the first thing I always recommend to people um, whether you're doing it here or somewhere else, like of course I, I, I say that coming into Florida free divers, you guys, I learned so much, but um, there's other places there's if you don't have the of means to do that around the U.S. So, and the world, yeah, yeah. And the next is just finding people to dive with. Definitely not diving alone, you know. And whether you're going off the beach or you're going out on a boat, you know, just finding a couple people to go with you or putting yourself out there on like these Facebook groups and saying, hey, it also helps if you're like, hey, I'm a certified level one safe diver. Yeah. You know, people are way this. more apt to accept yeah, you, right? For sure. They know where you're and then is. say, yeah. you know, I'm available these days, these days, and these days, and you just kind of network. And I think over time, the more people you dive with, um, that you you grow what I call my roster. You know, the, okay. the group of people that the A team. Yeah, and it gets to the point where you know this is the first person. This is my ride or die. Like for right. me, like Kevin is on the boat every single time. Right. And if he can't go, then it's like okay, well now who do I find? Right. You know, and you work your way down the line. Yeah. And, um, I think and if you don't go, you end up getting kicked to the B list. <laughs> yeah, some people have been cycled <laughs> through the list. I'm on the bottom of everyone's list. Yeah. Like I'm I give you a call guy. sometimes. <laughs> the it's, last guy. You're the last guy. To call. <laughs> but you know, in in terms of just developing that list and getting to a point where you're on lists, you yeah, know, absolutely. I think for me, it's always been be the dive buddy that you want, right? So being a humble diver, putting the divers that are in the water ahead of you, right? Absolutely. So for me, I think that. By diving with guys who, were, A, were more experienced than me, and I was learning things from them, which was right. great. Um, I dove with uh, you know, a bunch of, I don't want to do name drops, a bunch of big names who right. I was like, I hope they don't know how new I am <laughs> at this. Um, but it was just making sure that I was there for them when they surfaced. Right. You know, I was a team player, big on Absolutely. defense, you know, and just not being, you know, 
mean or trying to come off arrogant or, or like anything like that. Or like snaking fish from people, like taking just shots over people's shoulders. I've heard of Try to be yeah, a like good that. person and they want to they wanna die with you, you know? So Absolutely. that's definitely helped. Nice. So once you've got all this completed, you've hit your fast track um, to increasing your skill level from zero to a pretty good diver with the level one course or mm -hmm. something similar. Um, you've met people to dive with, you're getting out and you're diving with people. What was your next step to kind of increase your skill level to be able to advance and maybe do some harder dives, right, good um, target more difficult fish? That good kind question. Of thing? Well, I think just experience and spending time in the water and learning from other people, but also, you know, coming into your local dive shop, um, you know, basic things that you don't think about, you know, when you've been doing this for a while, but like, I didn't know how to rig a gun. I didn't know how to shoot a pole spear in the Bahamas. I didn't know about the you know lighter thing on your mask. All these like little things that you know I was searching on YouTube, and thank goodness you guys have this channel now because when I was I was looking on YouTube for things like that, and it wasn't out there. But networking and interacting with your shop and learning and just asking a lot of questions and kind of you know being humble and just understanding like there's no stupid question coming in and saying, how do I load a spear gun? Yeah. You might feel stupid, you know, but that's, it's an important part of spear fishing. I find. It's an important part. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many times we get asked that yeah. question. Yeah. Which okay. is great though, because I feel like in other aspects of the sport, it's super intimidating, right? Mm -hmm. It's like this big macho sport and we get actually complimented a lot in the shop that we kind of are accepting of those questions. Uh, absolutely. So people will come in and kind of like, you'll see this like shy, timid look of like, you know, you can kind of tell they don't I've really know. I've done some stupid things. <laughs> and so I think that that's the biggest thing is what you said is to make sure that you're willing to ask the question, right? So Jonathan and I usually use these videos to take the opportunity to share what we know mm -hmm. about freediving and spearfishing. But since we're here with Tommy today, we're going to do the opposite and not tell you anything about us and have <laughs> Tommy. And ask the questions this Yeah, time. we're going to ask the uh. questions and have Tommy tell us his experience with whatever question we're asking. Okay. So. To start, my first question for you, um, getting into spearfishing, what is one piece of advice you can offer to somebody getting their first spear gun? First spear gun? Mm -hmm. um, don't get, you don't have to get like, you know, the greatest and biggest. I think just like a, a basic pipe gun just to get out there. Just a basic roller gun? Well, <laughs> no, my first gun was, was just a basic pipe gun, two bands, and that thing, I loved that gun. Everyone hated on it, but you know, just to get you out there, um, especially with, you know, I know budget is an issue in the sport because there's a lot of different pieces. So you don't have to get a, you know, a $1,500 carbon fiber blue water monster. Um, your first gun, just get something that is going to be reliable. You know, maybe like one of the, the raw balance, you know, mm -hmm. the roller definitely is more powerful, but I think it adds a level of uh, skill. You have to be able to know how to load that yeah. and such. So I think a two bander is probably the best starting gun, in my opinion. Um, mainly because that's what I started with. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, that's what most people start with. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, um, what's one thing that, you, looking back now, right, the biggest mistake that you Ooh. made as a brand new freediver? Mm. As a brand new freediver, mm -hmm. oh, my biggest mistake was being uh, overweighted. Waiting, okay. not, not my body. <laughs> Wear, weighing, uh, wearing too much weight. Okay. I think I see it a lot too. Okay. Um, you know, just in an effort to try to get deeper, you think more weight is going to help with that, but then you have to bring that up. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, I think you guys did a video on we did, proper yeah. weighting. So that, we'll have a link go check that out. Things. But for sure, in fact, I'm more like you, as you mentioned in that video, was like I like to be almost um, a little underweighted now. Yeah. You know, yeah. For sure. Cool. So uh, I guess before we close, yeah. You know, I've gone through this experience rather, you know, recently. You know, two years isn't that long in this for in this sure. sport. Um, and I've shared some of my experiences there, but for you guys, you guys deal with a lot of people who are just starting out. And aside from like the course, I think the course is a no-brainer. Absolutely. What's your biggest piece of advice for someone just starting out? I would say the biggest thing that I think can help someone as like a brand new person coming in after they've taken the course, right? They're ready to go, is making sure that you do connect with that dive shop, like Eric mentioned earlier, and and trying to do your homework and buying the right stuff the first time. All too often I get guys that come in and they've got all their gear, but a, it's all wrong, right? They yeah. have a, you know, a Cordura, like a non-rubber weight belt. They've got, you know, plastic fins or even short fins at that. Um, they've got like a surf wetsuit. 
Um, they have all this gear that they've like went out and purchased without having the education uh, of what to buy. And so they end up buying two times or maybe even three times if they don't listen to the you know, yeah. educator. I think that goes back to not being ashamed. Like when you yeah, come into the exactly. dive shop, be real. And it's also worth mentioning, you know, give the dive shop wherever you're going, but if you're coming in here, tell them what you're gonna be doing. Because yes, absolutely. Um, if you're like, hey, I'm into, I just got into free diving, what gear do I buy? Right. Well, if, if they're you know, lining up with a two band or spear gun, meanwhile, you're only doing Bahamas trips, you right. know, you're missing out on, you can't yeah. use that. So, Which is one of the nice things about us in particular is that we ask the questions. Yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Yeah, thanks if you for having guys, me. Absolutely, if you guys do find value in this content, please be sure to uh, leave us a like, or if you haven't already, hit the uh, subscribe button. Thank you again, Tommy. That was awesome. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>